Sunday, September 27, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Wonderfully Complex, and our scripture is Psalm 139. O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts, even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the grave, you're there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me, and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness I cannot hide from you. To you the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you're still with me. There's a sense inside each of us that wants our lives to count for something. We want to be more than just a social security number or part of a government demographic, just another vote in the booth. We want to be noticed, seen for the accomplishments of not merely breathing and surviving a number of years before departing planet Earth, but being useful and important to others. On the inside, we understand to some degree just how wonderfully complex is the machine that houses who we are. We are souls created with body and spirit, and God made each of us with a plan entirely crafted with love and by the unbridled consideration of eternal and divine omniscience and wisdom. Whatever God did in crafting the human experience, it's much too wonderfully complex for a three-minute devotion. But this much we can say. David, today's psalmist, knew it well. And he marveled. That is to say, David worshipped at the thought of how much thought God put into sculpting who we are and the good plans that he has for each of us. And the moment you insert the word good in any sentence, it, and anything attached to the thought, is immediately connected with the eternal character of God, who alone is good and desires good in our lives. James the Apostle put it this way, Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us, from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. For you today, here we are, wonderfully complex creatures, objects of divine worth, thought about constantly by our Creator, who is a loving and good Father. So, what's it going to be today? Moaning about not getting the exact shade of midnight blue on that BMW? or letting the joy of God's loving hand form that silly grin you walk around with as you serve Him and bathe in His love. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.